Ms. Shalini, you have been associated with many entrepreneurs and startups. You have been guiding them on circular vision. ICC is associated with uh, many European organizations and is the pioneer in India in implementation of the circular economy at local level. What role is ICC playing in nurturing the circular scenario? I think a lot has been discussed about the circular scenario, uh, but uh, the vision on which the ICCE was established uh, was perhaps uh, the only gap that we have been discussing uh, since we started the panel discussion. Uh, so what uh, when I started working in sustainability and circular economy, I realized there is a huge gap huge gap between the policies that are formulated and what is happening at the ground level. I saw that uh, though we are talking about circular economy and imbibing circularity, most of the companies are still talking about sustain sustainability. Uh, the life cycle assessment uh, is still missing. The tools uh, to calculate circular economy, to, to see how uh, we go circular, was missing. So that was the vision with which circular economy was uh, established uh, to basically accelerate the circular uh, economy in India uh, and also at a global level. Uh, so we uh, work on three pillars, uh, educate, innovate and inspire, like you rightly said in the beginning. So in the education part, I would like to define these three separately because all three play an extremely important role. When I say educate, a lot of people would confuse it with the, uh, with the uh, schools and colleges, but we talk beyond it because educating the existing people who are working in sustainability is extremely important. Educating the MSME world on circularity or how to become circular, using like uh, sir, uh, uh, Dr. Modak emphasized the importance of life cycle assessment is extremely important in circularity. Uh, again, innovation is the second thing and that's what we are inspiring. So we inspire the startups onto starting to think about circular economy right from the beginning of their business propositions. Uh, so one thing that was missing earlier, I would say was uh, when a business starts, the most important uh, or the lure of starting a for-profit business is obviously profit. We are not against it, but all we are saying is that somewhere we need to incorporate the policies which are related to circular economy and make your business more sustainable, not just by thinking how you, uh, uh, all the practices, the operational practices of making it uh, circular is important. So that's what we started to think about. Uh, we work with governments and institutions uh, to enable the conditions for circularity. We also have another program which is called Circular Labs. So Circular Labs is something like uh, when Dr. Modak was saying, EU has the, uh, the uh, innovation and the innovation from, uh, this could be one of the areas where we could collaborate, he is right. So, what we are trying to do also is to imbibe that culture using the existing infrastructure in India. In India, there is a lot that has happened in the last four to five years. Uh, there are Atal Innovation Labs, there are uh, other uh, organizations, even uh, Niti Aayog has been fostering the, uh, practice, the circular practices. So what we are doing, wanting to do through our circular labs is to promote that culture of circularity talking, uh, conducting a lot of workshops and webinars for MSME and uh, the, uh, the people who are already practicing circular economy to talk about it, to know more about it, to bring in uh, the tools that are used by the international arena uh, to India to help them be circular is what ICCE is trying to do. Uh, our network, we have a huge network and uh, through our network, uh, we, are, uh, we are collaborating with a lot of people, uh, startups, Pan-India, globally. And that is how I think ICCE will be very instrumental in enhancing the transition towards circular economy. Thank you, Michelle.